Time based one time password, or TOTP for short, is a standardized algorithm for generating unique numeric passwords using current time as an input. An application offering TOTP usually presents the user with a QR code, which they can scan into an authenticator app. And this authenticator app then displays the generated numeric codes, which are rotated typically every 30 seconds. Rodout ships with complete multi-factor authentication functionality out of the box, and TOTP is supported as one of the multi-factor authentication methods. I have a Rails app here with Rodout already set up. If you would like to see how to set up Rodout from scratch, check out my previous video. Let's add multi-factor authentication to this app, allowing users to set up TOTP authentication as the second step of login. Let's start by installing the ROTP gem, which implements the TOTP algorithm, and our QR code gem, which uh, allows generating QR codes with Ruby. Both of these are the dependencies for Rodout. Next, we'll create the necessary database table required by Rodout. In our Rodout configuration, we can now enable the OTP feature. This feature added several endpoints, some for managing TOTP and other for managing all multi-factor authentication methods. In our nav bar, let's add a link for managing multi-factor authentication. To make it a bit clearer what's going on, we'll also display the methods the session is currently authenticated by. Now when we open our app as a logged in verified user, clicking on the new link that we've added takes us straight to the TOTP setup page. A user would now scan this QR code into their authenticator app. For testing purposes, I'll just copy the secret key and use the command line interface provided by the ROTP gem to generate the numeric codes. Once we enter the code and confirm our password, Rodout confirms we've now successfully set up TOTP. And we can see that we are authenticated also with the second factor. Setting up TOTP also created an associated database record, which among other things contained the OTP secret. That was the setup part, let's now test the authentication part. When we log out and log back in, we are now required to authenticate with the second factor. Entering the authentication code successfully authenticates us with TOTP and we can now access the account. Rodout sets a default drift of 30 seconds, allowing the client and the server to be slightly out of sync in terms of time and also allows the user to enter the code shortly after it has expired. Rodout also disallows reusing codes, which prevents replay attacks. If the user enters an invalid code too many times in a row, they'll be locked out of TOTP. This is probably a protection mechanism against brute force attacks. In this case, the page is blank because we don't have an alternative method of multi-factor authentication. When a user with TOTP setup visits the page for managing multi-factor authentication, they are redirected to the form for disabling TOTP. Once we confirm the password and submit the form, Rodout informs us that TOTP has been disabled and we are no longer authenticated with the second factor. Checking the database also confirms that the OTP key record has been deleted. That's it! We now have working secure multi-factor authentication via TOTP with very little effort. To reduce the chance users will log themselves out of their account, it's also recommended to set up an alternative multi-factor authentication method, such as recovery codes. We will cover those in the next video.